Good morning. Today, I'll be reviewing the Apple AirPods. Also today, we're leaving the beautiful Inlo Lake to go to Bagan. Thank you. I want to break the review down into three components. Price, sound quality, and convenience. Okay, that's it for now. See those black marks on the wall? Those ones there. That's from people's heads up against the wall. So the AirPods have been around for a year or two now. I'm super late to the party and getting them this late. However, I really like them. They're one of Apple's products that just work. It just all works. And they're a first gen product. Sound quality. Sound quality is pretty average compared to something like this, which is Sony 1000 XM2s. However, there's pretty good separation between the lows, mids, and highs. It's all you need for the everyday use. No noise cancelling with the AirPods. It's a good thing or bad thing depending which way you look at it. It's a good thing because they do keep you connected to the real world so you can hear everything that's going on. Like this plane taking off. an archaeological zone fee. I hope it's going to a good cause. Sarah and I, we don't travel light. I'm working on being a minimalist, but I'm not there yet. Okay, so the W1 chip inside of these is what makes these AirPods so convenient. If it wasn't for the W1 chip, I don't think I would see anything special in these because they don't have amazing music quality. It's basically just the convenience that they offer. So if I just open this case and then boom, immediately. I don't know if you can see that, but on the screen, they're ready to connect, they're ready to go. Just ready to slot into my life. They're ready to just work, which is what Apple has always been about or tried to be about. So that W1 chip helps out with some other good stuff like low power consumption. You get about five hours of listening time with these things. However, if you are running low, you can just plug them straight back into the charging case and get 80% charge in 15 minutes. I've personally never run out of listening time, but hey, it's convenient. It's got everything on the menu. Chinese I'm always, I'm always skeptical of places that have everything, because how can you do everything well? Can you for a sec? No, I can't. Damn it. Why? Because it's fine. This beer costs two Australian dollars. These AirPods cost 229 Australian dollars. So it really comes down to what you want more. Would you rather over a hundred beers or one pair of AirPods? <laughs> no, but seriously, these are super expensive. However, because they're so because they're so versatile, I would definitely recommend grabbing a pair. The last thing to consider is the aesthetics. I'm gonna let Sarah handle this one. I said they're ugly. I don't like the little stem thing hanging down. I might as well just get rid of it because there are ones out there now that don't even have that. They just go so neat. I'm telling you no. Fair enough. They're ugly. Plain ugly. I think they've been out for about two years now and I think that people have gotten used to the look and they obviously have because so many people have bought them and so many people wear them in public. I think that they potentially could do something with this stem, maybe like a, vo a volume control or something of that nature, but until then I think we're just going to have to deal with it. If you're an Apple user and you prioritise convenience over everything else, sound quality, price and aesthetic, then these headphones are for you.